Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and a very exciting piece of information has been revealed. Yes, somebody has managed to leak Nintendo's full E3 schedule for 2018. This is a huge deal. I can't believe this has actually happened. We've got the information. It's real. We can believe no, 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 it. It's no, not no, a fake. No, no, it's no, the no. real deal. True. I can't it's believe it. It's true. so it's true. true. It's unbelievable. It My believe. knees are made of cheese. I'm not going to all right, you got me. It's not actually true. It's laughably, laughably not true. Every single year we see the same thing time and time again. It's because the internal documents that Nintendo uses are very easy to fake because it's just a printout. It's just a Word document with some information written down on it, usually in Times New Roman or one of the standard system fonts. It's so laughably easy to mock up but even I've done it. If you want to see it for yourself, then make sure you check me out on Twitter at Alex underscore Olney. <laughs> so anyway, this one came to light overnight and it's, I, I can't remember how I found it. I think I found it on Reddit or something like that. It wasn't even in the uh, Nintendo one as far as I remember. And yeah, it's, it's kind of hilarious. Like genuinely, genuinely hilarious. So we're gonna go through it bit by bit just to savor and chew and enjoy this obvious forgery just because we can. So first of all, what have we got? We've got the introduction with the clips from Dragon Ball Fighter Z or Z if you're from the States, FIFA 2019. I don't think they even refer to it as FIFA 2019 anymore. It's like FIFA and just the last two numbers. So it'd be FIFA 19. There's a red flag for you. We've got NBA 2K19. Think there should be a space in there, but don't know for sure. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. That seems fine. Same with Octopass. Tr Octopath Traveler. <laughs> no, I've just noticed it's missing an L in Octopath Traveler. They did manage to spell Wolfenstein 2 the new Colossus correctly though, um, which is, that that's the most surprising of all. They misspelled Traveler, but spelled Colossus correctly, because generally people use two L's, which is wrong. Super Smash Bros for Switch. Yeah, Nintendo never refers to their consoles with Nintendo in the title, except they always do. I've noticed this a couple of times. There's actually um, some spaces where there shouldn't be spaces, or at least it's inconsistent. For example, we've got trailer slash software demo slash space tournament. I don't think they put tournament there anyway. I think they put invitational. Here's a new game we haven't heard of. Punch Out Become the Champion. Catchy. We've also got Metroid Prime Renegade, which we already know that it's called Metroid Prime 4 and all the previous Metroid Prime games have had either, you know, well, Metroid Prime itself didn't, but Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3. Only the spin-off games haven't had the number next to them. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Renegade, I, I seem to remember, oh no, that's, that, that's on the next page. I'll save that for the next page. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, you know, usual stuff. Trailer, software, demo, uh, that's not capitalized this time when uh, it is previously. This is apparently being made by Nintendo Entertainment Planning and Space 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 Development, presumably. <laughs> I've just seen the next one as well. Fire Emblem Memories. Now there's a name that, 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 is, that is a name that it could potentially be, to be honest, you know. Fire Emblem Memories, it's vague and sort of generic enough. Yeah, I can believe that. What I can't believe is it's being made by Intelligent System, because generally they use more than one. By which I mean it's it's intelligent systems. It's not intelligent system. Fallout 3 anniversary. That's um, yeah. I don't. I, I I'm not. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Full stop. And uh, also too many spaces between gameplay and footage, as well. I don't think that's happening because it's a bit old. Could happen, but nah, I'm not sure. Then we've got the inevitable Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Admittedly, they have managed to get the uh, the accent over Pokemon over the E, which um, that that helps the rising intonation there. That uh, that definitely gives it some credence. But what doesn't help is the fact that that is um, well, again, it's still only a rumor at the moment. Unfortunately, there's a lot of evidence to suggest it is real, and um, from what we've heard of the uh, actual gameplay, it doesn't sound great. But I'm I, you know I'm not here to discuss that rumor I'm here to discuss this lovely bit of fake news <sighs> I actually just said fake news then we got f-zero sx <laughs> I think I know what they're going for there because you know it's like you know they often have x because they've had f-zero f-zero x f-zero gx f-zero ax so I'm guessing they're going for sx because it's like switch x but it just looks like f-zero sex hang on I've missed one I've missed the I've missed the best one I've missed Yoshi's Flipping Island. This might be the best name for anything ever, to be honest. 
Yoshi's Mother Flipping Island. Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. Star Fox Lilat System. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've already got the Grand Prix rumor. This is the problem with E3 time of year. You get so many rumors going around, and some of them are fake, and obviously because they're rumors. In fact, most of them are fake, but you get the occasional one, and there's sort of a bit of credence to it, and you sort of think, hang on, it's so difficult to tell because there's so many other fake ones out there. But uh, yeah, Star Fox Lilac system. It, it, it surprises me that they went with Pokemon Let's Go po uh, Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and they latched onto that previous one. But they didn't latch on to the whole idea of Star Fox Grand Prix. You know, maybe they're trying to throw you off. But it does say Retro Studios, so there's that. But why would not Why would they go for the Let's Go Pokemon games and not Star Fox Grand Prix? I don't know. Maybe because it makes the F-Zero thing less likely? I don't know. I didn't make this. I've just gone to look at the second page and I've accidentally loaded up this instead. You can't see that, I'll superimpose it. But this definitely isn't the second page. So this is the second page. This is the treehouse stuff. And, uh, oh, 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 yeah, this is, a, this is a good one. So we got Super Smash Bros. for Space Space Switch again. And it's saying, characters reveal. I mean, that, that could kind of work, I suppose, in like a internal shorthand, maybe. Random matches showing some characters. Random matches. Yeah, no, that's, that's not... Yeah, no. Some characters and mechanics. New Amiibo Showcase. I kind of like that they've um, gone to the effort to put all this additional information in there, but try and get it right and try and make it sound like it would actually be internal notes from Nintendo and not just, you know, random matches showing some characters and mechanics. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening 3D. <laughs> Trailer game reveal. Nice there. First hour of the game. First hour of the game. No, that's too much. They wouldn't show off that much. I mean, maybe they would, but I mean, no, I, I doubt it, to be honest. Also, I really don't think Link's Awakening 3D is ever going to happen, which is a shame because I love me some Link's Awakening. Star Fox Lilat System. Is that is that a different name to the one before? No, okay, it's the same. Gameplay of the new flight system and new peripheral that adds a screen to your Joy-Con. No, don't do that. NPC interaction and side mission in Corneria. NPC isn't capitalized when it really should be because obviously it's standing for something, it's an abbreviation. It's not an acronym because an acronym is when you uh, say it out loud like NASA is an acronym, but uh, NASA or UKSA is because we have well, R01 over here. Those are, those are abbreviations. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, level showcase online matches as Octoling, announcing new Amiibo. Now, why would they show online matches as Octoling? Maybe they do a private battle, but they wouldn't say it was online. They just say gameplay with Octoling or Octoling gameplay or something like that. They wouldn't show off online because that means they'd have to go online. And, it's, you know, I'm pretty sure that other people would see that they were Octolings or the other players in the game would either see it or the game wouldn't know what to do. It just, no, it, no, it, no. Metroid Prime Renegade as well. Exploring the surface of a planet. <laughs> a planet, we don't know which one, but we're just gonna go to a planet and we're gonna show it off in Metroid Prime Renegade. Fight against a Renegade Chozo. Now you see, this is the thing that they don't get because the Chozo are dead. And I know, you know, you, they could do a, a Halo 4 and, you know, sort of all the Forerunners aren't actually dead, but do it with the Chozo. But eh, no, I don't see it. Also, we've kind of already seen it with, like, the Chozo statues coming to life. So it's, it, it, even though it couldn't be done, it's been done. Yoshi's Flipping Island! I love that name. Level showcase, co-op mode, amiibo functionality. We've pretty much seen all of this, except for maybe, you know, seeing more levels and the amiibo functionality. We've seen co-op before, I'm pretty sure. So why would they, why would, why would they, oh, I don't know. Then again, it is Nintendo, they do like repeating themselves. Fire Emblem Memories, gameplay of the second mission of the game, introducing the new characters and game mechanics. That's very boring and straightforward and there's not really anything to make fun of there. That's a shame. Luigi's Mansion, presumably the, uh, the 3DS remake. Isn't it called Luigi's Mansion 3? No, 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 it is just called Luigi's Mansion for some reason. Uh, gameplay of the first hour of the game, Again, that's that's a long time. Uh, again, I can't remember how long they look at these things for, but then again, I suppose if they're taking their time and they're looking around, it's more like the first 20 minutes of the game and they're just taking their time. So, yeah, I suppose maybe if you did it that way. First quarter of new Bosch, Bo Bosch, Bosch Rush mode. It's where you find a load of uh, dishwashers. And lastly, we've got Punch-Out! Become the Champion. I mean, the name, introducing the new fighting system, showing the new hub and tournament. 
Is that saying there's going to be a tournament there? It doesn't say. It just... But then why would they have that in the treehouse stuff? It just... Ah, this leak is so full of holes, it's, it's wonderful. And I do genuinely enjoy looking at these fake leaks because it's always entertaining to see what people think they can get away with when they announce these, well, when they make these leaks and they say, look, it's real, and then outlets cover it as if it's real. Although not many for this one, admittedly, I only found one. It is good fun, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video because I've never done anything like this before. And yeah, you know, I, I, you could argue I'm being a bit mean, but if somebody's going to say that this is real when it's not, that, that's kind of a dick move, to be honest. So um, I, have no, I, have, I have no reservations about tearing it to shreds. Also, it, when you make it this obvious, you're just asking for it, really. But anyway, that was good fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you leak that subscribe button? Only spell it that subscribe button. And be sure to check out NintendoLive.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>